There's not enough videos out there explaining old tractor hydraulics and hydraulic functions. So I wanna make a video discussing that because these older tractors are not like your newer tractors. And I know for myself, when I was starting to make hay, I did not know what I was dealing with, what I was looking at. And frankly, they're just different. So I got three tractors here, ranging from a 1968 to I think like a 96 or 97, not 100% sure. So modern machines all run off of uh, Pioneer couplers, Pioneer hydraulics, that sort of thing. And most of your modern implements and just implements nowadays run off of that hydraulic coupler. Right here, this is our baler. This is a Pioneer coupler. And two of our tractors did not have Pioneer hydraulics, which was an issue because we couldn't run any of our equipment. So I had to figure out how to convert them what I needed to do, it was kind of a mess because no one on YouTube is really talking about it. There just wasn't a whole lot going on. This is our Agco Alice 6670. And here's the hydraulic remotes on this tractor. These are Pioneer hydraulics. It's your regular uh, collar. You push your collar back and you slide your uh, hose in. Simple as that. Your remotes are in there. Basic hydraulics on this tractor. This tractor could run any one of our pieces of equipment. The 966 in the case, however, were totally different. Both of these tractors at the beginning of the year could not run any piece of equipment because of their hydraulics. If you look here, you can see these silver things. These are adapters. This right here is the remote of a 966 or a 66 series international tractor. It's a 1964 model. This is the cast housing. They are breakaway couplers, but they are the IH design they are the ih size they are not pioneer these adapters are pioneer and what these do is they take it from an ih remote and convert it to a pioneer these adapters are 30 bucks a piece which is kind of expensive so for those of you who are looking at it to buy a 66 series or an international tractor in general know that they are not pioneer remotes you will have to either get adapters or do some converting a lot of guys on forums that i read about they just use adapters on all their tractors and they don't really care if they leak that's just what they do i don't like the leaking and that's the thing about adapters is they leak when i go to unhook an implement and pull a hose out of that remote they like to leak everywhere and this brand new barn floor has tons of leaky spots for example see under that rake some of them are from kind of hoses leaking but a lot of them are from unhooking and hooking up this disc line right here and that tractor just likes to leave a puddle of hydraulic fluid because those adapters leak. Now, don't fret because you can convert these remotes to Pioneer, but they are about 200 bucks per remote. The conversion kit, basically, uh, you pull out like the, the sleeve that's in there, the, the, the coupler part of it. You, you take the cast thing apart, pull the sleeve out, put the new one in, put it back together. But again, they're about 200 bucks per remote, which means it's gonna be $400 conversion. Right now, there's three $30 couplers on there, or adapters, so that's $90 conversion but you're losing hydraulic fluid. And hydraulic fluid isn't cheap. There's about $500 worth of hydraulic fluid in that tractor right now. And that's not something I just want to be leaving on the barn floor. This is a 1968 Case 730. It's a very simple tractor. It's a gas tractor. When we come around to the rear end here, you can notice something's a little weird. You got these remotes and then you got these. So this tractor, a lot like the 966, had its own size coupler its own size remote. They were not Pioneer back in the day. I don't know if they didn't have Pioneer back in the day um, or what, but each brand, John Deere International Case, they all had like their own size coupler. And I don't know if it was a sales thing to try to get farmers to buy more of that brand, a specific brand um, or what, but they all had a different size. So what I did to this tractor is I did a complete conversion. I believe they make adapters for these case tractors, but they're not as available as the international ones just because these case tractors are not as common. You look here, it's got its own thing. They are breakaway couplers like the 966, but they were the wrong size. They did not fit, they just would not work. So what I had to end up doing is I ended up taking off the old hoses and couplers here. I went to my local hydraulic shop and had them make new hoses for those couple of things up there. Those are the originals. I had to make new hoses and put on Pioneer couplers on here and that thing was converted. That cost me 90 bucks to do that conversion, which is cheaper than the IH conversion and they work great. The only problem is they're not breakaway. What I have to end up doing, because they're not breakaway and they're not actually built for this tractor, I have to do, it, it's really, can, really hard because this collar pushes back. But if I, you see, I, I push back on it nothing's holding it so it's a real pain to hook up implements 
I don't know. We might figure out something for it someday. But as far as functionality, it works great. It works as well as I need it to. I didn't do the other one because, well, I don't run anything with more than one remote on this tractor. I only run a rake and a tether. It's only 55 horse. I ain't running this bind on it, and I don't really have a need to run the baler on it as well. So that's the rundown of tractor hydraulics, older tractor hydraulics. Be aware, if you're looking for an older tractor, be aware the older tractors most likely will not have Pioneer hydraulics or your common standard hydraulic tip like this rake right here because they just were not made with it. You may buy a tractor and the previous owner may have converted them or have adapters on them. That is a definite possibility. But at the beginning of this year, when I was getting ready to start making hay, we had to scramble and get some conversions done. This case, it was the last thing that we did and we ended up doing the conversion like late April, uh, getting these hoses made. It was the last project we did on this tractor and we got it done just in time. This 966 didn't show up until the morning that we were mowing, first cutting hay. So we had to run out to the hydraulic shop and grab some couplers. That tractor over there, the Agco, was the only one that could run any piece of equipment. Once more, your standard hydraulic tip coupler, whatever you want to call it nowadays, is Pioneer. This is what Pioneer looks like. There may be a few brands that run a different one. I don't know of any off the top of my head. Every piece of equipment that I have here did come with Pioneer. They were all Pioneer when we purchased them. I don't know if there are any companies that make anything other than Pioneer anymore. Maybe over in Europe, there might be something, um, but even the Krone and the Kuhn uh, pieces here, they're not necessarily American, but they do have Pioneer. Some adapter brands and some tractors may handle adapters differently. I know this 966 right here, is a pain because it leaks so much with those adapters and that is definitely a project we're going to do this fall is convert them properly i love this tractor but those puddles right there are going to get really annoying and i don't want to be losing hydraulic fluid because that stuff's expensive that's my quick rundown actually i don't know if this is very quick i don't know how long this video is going to be but that was my rundown of hydraulics for you guys i hope i made it somewhat simple thank you guys for watching see you in the next one